Okay, we're at the UMAG Center with Palombo's team, uh, April 21, 2010. We're uh, evaluating this late cabbage. We're sampling three plants per plot, as you can see. So this one right there is, is, is got a sample there of three plants. It's, we're going to be counting aphids. Uh, what are you finding, Javier? Mostly green peach. Green peach? Are you finding any cabbage? No, we're not finding too many cabbage aphids. One here and there. But it's just mostly green peach aphids that we're finding. And turnip? Uh, maybe a few here and there also. I haven't seen any today in our samples, but we may find one here and there. All right, Leo, how, how do you count them? Well, we count them. Well, one by one, especially on the treatments that have the less aphids, but here on the untreated, this one, since some of these plants have anywhere from uh, 1,500, 2,000 or more than that, we uh, go ahead and count a, a part of the leaf, like for instance this part, then we'll go ahead and uh, look at around the leaf and kind of get a good estimate of the aphid counts, because uh, sometimes it's impossible, you got so many thousands of aphids. On this team. So, if you're up a few aphids, it doesn't really make much of a difference when you have a whole lot of them. So you calculate the area like where you find five or ten, and then you keep counting leaf by leaf yes, until you get your final number. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing, especially with the because this one, as you can see, it's, it's like just thousands. Of now you're telling me that you have a really high population this year, an unseasonably high? Yes, uh, that's one of the things here, this year. Last year on our cabbage aphids, it was just mostly cabbage that we were finding. But this year it's been the opposite. It's mostly green beach aphids that we're finding. Okay, so this is how the researchers at the university get their data, their, their information. When they get to this point, we just uh, count by tens, twenty, or uh, more or less uh, get an estimate of that. Because it really doesn't make a much of a difference if you miss it by a, by a, by a few. Uh, the, the actual total number, it could, you can pretty much uh, estimate like an estimate because uh, you know when it comes to uh, this high uh, number of the population it really doesn't matter here we're trying to illustrate the difference between a good treatment and an untreated right there you're looking at the one of the best treatments which is one we're finding about 15 to 20 aphids per plant as if you compare with the untreated right there we're finding pretty close to 4,000 aphids per plant. As Leo was mentioning in the, earlier in the video, the difference between a, tre the treated and a good treatment and the untreated is, is it's huge. So if you miss 5 or 10 in your count, it's, it's not, it doesn't make a difference in the statistical analysis.